It looks like a warship, but at the same time, it doesn't. <laughs> its sharp edges, smooth surfaces, and almost alien shape hide a very different kind of vessel. This is USS Zumwalt, the most powerful and most advanced destroyer the US Navy has ever built. But behind its futuristic design lies a story of innovation, ambition, and some very expensive mistakes. What's inside this $4 billion ship? Why was it built this way? And why do some call it both a masterpiece and a failure? Let's take a look inside, because it's not the way you think. At first glance, it doesn't even look like a warship. But it is. And not just any warship, this is USS Zumwalt. Over 600 feet long, 16,000 tons of steel, technology, and secrets. Officially, it's a destroyer. Unofficially, it's one of the strangest, most controversial ships ever built. When it sails across the ocean, it barely leaves a radar signature, appearing no larger than a small fishing boat. That's not by accident. Zumalt was designed to break the rules, a warship that's hard to see. A warship with fewer people on board than almost any ship its size. And the warship that promised to change naval warfare forever. But like many ambitious projects, things didn't go exactly as planned. And to understand why, we need to look past its strange exterior. And inside. If you saw this ship in a movie, you'd probably assume it's some futuristic prototype, not an actual fully operational warship. <laughs> but the USS Zumwalt is very real, and its unusual shape isn't just for looks. Every line, every angle has a purpose. Unlike conventional warships with towering radar masts and exposed weaponry, Zumwalt has none of that. Its profile is low. Its surfaces are smooth. Its edges are sharp, almost geometric. It looks alien. The reason? Stealth. Zumwalt's entire design is focused on avoiding detection. Its surfaces deflect radar waves away from enemy receivers. The bridge and upper decks are hidden within the sleek, angular superstructure. But the most distinctive feature is the hull. Unlike most ships, Zumwalt uses what's called a tumble home design, where the sides of the ship slope inward as they rise. It reduces the radar signature even further, making this massive 16,000 ton destroyer look, on radar, about the size of a fishing boat. But there's a trade-off. Many naval engineers have questioned how stable this design is in rough seas. After all, stealth doesn't help much if your ship can't handle the ocean. Still, the goal was ambitious, to build a warship that doesn't just hide behind technology, it hides in plain sight. Beneath the sleek, futuristic shell of the Zumwalt lie some of the most advanced technology ever put on a warship. It all starts with power. Most destroyers generate enough electricity to run their engines, and that's about it. The Zumwalt? It produces a staggering 78 megawatts of power, enough to supply a small town. Why so much? Because this ship wasn't designed just for today's weapons. It was built with the future in mind. Rail guns, high energy lasers, advanced radar and sensor systems, all of them need power, lots of it. For now, the Zumwalt carries a mix of conventional systems. Two 155 mm advanced gun systems designed for precision strikes up to 100 miles away. 80 vertical launch system cells capable of firing Tomahawk cruise missiles, anti-aircraft missiles, and more. But here's the problem. Those advanced guns, they fire specialized shells. Shells that became so expensive, nearly a million dollars per round. 
that the Navy stopped buying them. Which means the ship's most advanced guns have never been used in combat. It's one of the strangest contradictions of the Zumwalt, a warship packed with power and potential. But not all of that potential has been realized yet. For a ship this size, you'd expect a crew of at least 300 sailors. But the Zumwalt? It sails with about half that number, around 150. Step inside, and it doesn't feel like a traditional Navy warship. It feels more like the inside of a high-tech research lab or a spacecraft. Touchscreens replace bulky control panels. Workstations are sleek and minimal. And below deck, crew quarters are more spacious and modern than most sailors are used to. But fewer people on board comes with trade-offs. In emergencies, fewer hands mean fewer people to handle damage control or unexpected situations. And when you rely this heavily on technology, if that technology fails, your options are limited. The Zoomwalt's reduced crew reflects a vision of the future. More machines, fewer humans. And while that may be efficient, it raises a question the Navy is still answering. How far can you automate before it becomes a risk? When the Zoomall program was announced, the vision was bold. 32 ships, a new generation of stealth destroyers that would redefine naval warfare. But as the project moved forward, reality set in. Costs skyrocketed, technical challenges mounted, and slowly, that ambitious fleet of 32 ships shrank to just three. At over $4 billion per ship, Zumwalt became one of the most expensive destroyers ever built. And the problems didn't stop there. The ship's futuristic gun system, without affordable ammunition, it's practically useless. Its mission profile changed multiple times from land attack operations, to surface warfare, to becoming a test platform for future weapons. What began as a symbol of the Navy's future became a lesson in the risks of being first. But despite the setbacks, the Navy isn't walking away. They've already invested billions into Zumwalt. And now, the goal is to make sure that investment pays off. The question is, how? Despite all the setbacks, the story of Zumwalt isn't over. In fact, some would argue, it's only just beginning. The Navy is rethinking how to use this ship. With so much available power and space for upgrades, Zumwalt is becoming a testbed for the future. Plans are already underway to equip the ship with hypersonic missiles capable of reaching targets at incredible speeds. Its advanced sensors and massive electrical output make it ideal for testing directed energy weapons, like high-powered lasers and railguns. The Navy may not have built 32 Zumwalts, but the three that exist, they're becoming platforms for experimentation, a glimpse at what naval warfare could look like in the coming decades. It may not have fulfilled its original promise. It may never fight exactly as intended, but sometimes, <laughs> that's how progress works. You try, you fail, you adapt. And along the way, you learn. And in the world of modern warships, learning often matters more than perfection. <laughs>